Gen Genesis 8:20. Genesis 8:20. And now, and Noah built an altar to the Lord. He took every clean beast and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. You know, Noah offered offerings. You know, as Christians, we don't have to offer up animals anymore. We don't do sacrifices because Christ was the ultimate sacrifice. But we do offer ourselves for the service of the Lord, or we should, if we're in a right, right place. Okay, Jose. I was a seven five was a seven five through nine. Okay, was a seven five through nine. In that day, in the day of our king, the princes have made him sick. With bottles of wine, he stretched out his hand with scorners. So being sick with bottles of wine, obviously he drunk too much. He stretched out his hand with his scorners. They deliberately tried to get him sick. Maybe the wine was tainted, so he would get sick, so they could replace him. He's help, he stretched out his hand with scorners. He's hating those who hate him. You know, isn't that the way God does for us? When we are so against him, he still loves us and wants us to come to him. Verse 6. For they have made ready their heart like an oven. While they lie in wait, the baker sleeps all the night. In the morning, it burns as a flaming fire. So their heart's not right. This isn't a good compliment. It's burning, not with passion, not with love, but with anger, with bitterness, with bad things are coming out. You got it in the oven. It's on fire. That's not good. Whatever's in the oven is bad. Verse 7, they are all hot as an oven, and have devoured their judges. All their kings are fallen. There is none among them that calls unto me. So none of them follow the Lord. God put judges in charge, and they wanted a king. So he put kings in charge. Now the kings have fallen because they refused to follow God, and God allowed them to be put in exile. This time it wasn't yet came, but he's telling them this is what's going to happen. He devoured the judges. You wanted to do away with the judges. And your kings are now going to be fallen. Because none among them calls unto me. Nobody in your area calls to me. Now there's some exceptions. Uh, but for the most part nobody. None of the kings at that point that's why it fell. Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is not a cake. He's a cake not turned. Mixed himself. He went among the pagans. Among the Gentiles. Among those who didn't follow God. And this caused the whole problem. Because when they didn't follow God... Ephraim didn't have influence over them, but the pagans influenced Ephraim to join pagan worship, which led them away from God. As Christians, we're to seek those that serve the Lord just as much as we do, so we don't get wrapped up into following some other path than the one the Lord would have for us. Verse 8. 
Verse 9. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knows it not. Yea, great hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knows not. They didn't see the problem they were having. They were getting taken away from God. They were allowing pagan temples to be built. Yet they did not see the problem. They thought it was okay. They thought everything was fine, but it wasn't. They lost their will to serve the Lord.